Welcome back, everybody. Northern Quest Casino in Airway Heights, Washington, as we continue now a middleweight fight worth six rounds. Let's go to the ring announcer. It's Mike Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Palulo's Banner Promotions, along with the Northern Quest Casino, present six rounds of action in the middleweight division. The three judges ringside scoring this bout will be Tom McDonough, Dan Vassar, and Alan Krebs. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Mr. Paul Field. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the solid black trunks and weighed in tonight at an even 160 pounds. His professional record stands at five victories against two defeats with four victories by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, from Portland, Oregon, presenting Sam Hayes. And across the ring, his adversary fights out of the red corner. He wears the green trunks and weighed in tonight at 162 pounds. His professional record stands undefeated at eight victories, with no defeats, one victory by way of knockout all the way from Samara, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Maxime Vlasov. Well, we've been waiting for this one for a little while this evening because we're anxious to see how the Russian fighter is going to perform. A lot of hype on the young guy coming over here. Oh, Eight and oh, Sam Hayes the opponent at five and two and four KOs out of Portland, Oregon. Yeah, Sam, uh, he can punch. Uh, he's been he's been around for a while here. The Russian is a little bit taller than him, so Sam's going to have to get in under that jab and, and uh, work the body and then come back upstairs to the head. This is a six round matchup. And once again, a lot of anticipation to see how the Russian handles himself here in the ring. First time in the States. Doesn't look like he has a traditional uh, European or Russian style with his with his jab hand way out there, but it looks like he's a little schooled there. And Sam Haynes is not afraid to uh, mix it up by evidence by his four knockouts. He's going to have to get in under that long jab, though. Looks like he's trying to tear the body down first. Vlasov, patient, looking for an opportunity to use that extended reach. You saw it right there, but neither punch connected. Good movement to back away from the incoming movement that time by Haynes. Yeah, Sam's going to gonna try and work the body and then come upstairs. It looks like what his game plan is. He might even throw an overhand right once in a while if Vlasov drops that right hand, that jab hand. Vlasov gets hit that time with a quick right. Good movement now by Vlasov. And Haynes is quickly to step inside. Ray, you talked about that's going to have to be his key because he does not have that extended reach. He's going to have to make that, that faint move and step inside of that jab. That's right. Look for Sam to, to move inside, get in under the jab, or he may even eat a couple of jabs while he's doing it, but he's got to move inside. Work the body because when he works the body, when he gets inside, he's going to have to be low, and work the body and then come back upstairs. That's going to be the key to his his game plan tonight. And he just can't just stick the left hand out. He's going to have to uh, use it about three or four times. This is the first uh, really offensive flurry that we have seen right there from Vlasov. Did not phase Haynes. Yeah, there went a couple of body shots. Looks like Vlasov's letting him come inside there. He's got a little little uh, uh, answer for that. Mm -hmm. Inside of a minute here in round one. Scheduled for six. And Vlasov's dropping that, that jab again. Look for Vlasov to keep Haynes on the outside using his jab. That's what he's that's what he's gonna want to do. Good quick snapping right hand over the top that time by Vlasov. And the Russian patient with his movement. 
Haynes hey, switched he up. Just went, he just went southpaw there for a moment and decided, well, that wasn't a great idea. And he went back, and now he connects with two quick punches, oh, and yeah. down goes Haynes. That looked like a snook. At the bell, it will count as a knockdown as the count continues. And here in the state of Washington, you cannot be saved by the bell. So the eight count, and then they will send them to their respective corners. So a quick one-two combination right as the bell was ringing by Maxine Vosoff, and it comes quick. Here it is. This looks like here. Oh, delayed knockdown. I think the setup, I think the first two punches are the ones that really did the damage. Yeah. The last one was didn't really, right there. I think that right hand and that left caught him, and that's when his legs went rubber right, right there. Right. Yeah, it was a delayed knockdown, it looked like. It does look like a slip, though. Referee called it a... He still called, called it a, a knockdown. knockdown. So it's a knockdown. Yes, it is. We can sit here and yell slip all we want to, but uh, it counts as a knockdown, yeah. according to the ring official. So that will be from a round that seemed relatively not much uh, inspired, all of a sudden turns into probably a two-point round because of the knockdown in favor of Lasso. Right. I was giving that to Lasso anyway. All right, round number two. Let's see how Haynes handles this. And you see the punch stats and yep. the power of Vlasov, 11 of 18 in power punches. They landed some good right hands and, and probably threw a couple of hooks in there. We'll see how Haynes responds here now. Vlasov patient. He has got to get in under that jab. Last off with very good uh, upper body movement and head movement to uh, avoid punches. Switch, switch, switch the southpaw again. I think it's maybe just to show it and that's it because he doesn't stay there long. He didn't throw any punches either. No. No, oh, there's a good combination by Last off. All of those landed. Haynes trying to fight back but is hitting nothing but air. And another stiff jab that time by Vlasov, and now he tries to pick up the pace even more. Right hand. Oh, he's inside, but he's not working while he's in there. You're talking about Haynes there, right? Yeah, Sam Haynes is not, not doing enough work while he's inside. There's a good body shot. Maybe he heard you. Again, Vlasov. Kicking his spots. Yeah, he's dropping that, that jab. He's probably trying to entice him to come inside a little bit so he can give him a little right hand. Or... Good right hand landed that time by Vlasov. Haynes has to back up toward the ropes, and Vlasov is immediately on top of him and attacking quickly. Haynes tries to force his way off, and they clinch. And a solid right hand that time, followed by a left and a right again. Haynes looks like he's in trouble. Vlasov trying to close the deal here if he can in round two. And Haynes definitely wobbling. Right. And push his head down. Uh, Haynes weathered the storm so far. Time still left here in this round. He's trying to maneuver inside, and he just, just can't get there with those punches. There he goes. Those some that are ineffective. That's a good, good couple of good left hands and a real good right hand that time by Vlasov. Right. And another very good right hand is again, Haynes up against the ropes and Vlasov is connecting. And Vlasov's got the And he's going down now. That was and it. they are going to rule that as a push down instead of a knockdown. Vlasov's got those punches right on the end of his punch. That's where the most damage is done. Very good nice. right hand. He stepped right into that one, Haynes did. And a good right hand uppercut that time by Vlasov. And back up. Don't go straight in. Really hit around. He's putting them together. Moving his head to, for tall, tall, lanky uh, middleweight. He's doing a pretty good job moving. Well, Haynes is going to survive this round as Vlasov ends the round again with another solid right hand. Well, once again, the Russian, Maxime Vlasov, showing how technically sound he is and only eight fights under his belt. Here's, here's a shot early in the round here. Vlasov's putting those punches together. Looks like he's landing three out of four. Here comes a shot of a nice uppercut. 
right, right there. there. Landed right on the button. Yeah, it did. Now, this was a, a great uh, flurry right here by Vlasov. And notice he's got him right on the end of the punches. Right? Yes. And you talked about that's where the power is, is where that, uh, and then the push and the uh, eventual uh, droppage to the mat that time by Haynes, and it was ruled a push. So we are set now for round three. And Sam Haynes is way behind in this uh, bout. Been down once already in the uh, very end of the first round. He's got a tough row to hoe here. The thing I like about Vasov is not only are his skills good for so early in his uh, career, but he has patience as well. Does not just try to walk in. Right. Right. It'd be interesting to see what kind of amateur career he has. Oh, solid shots that time by Vlasov. Because he looked like he's very well schooled here. Good action here early in round three. Vlasov has controlled the first two rounds and looking to do the same here in round three. And another solid right hand. And he's throwing combinations. That's what he needs to do to win this fight. Put the combinations together because two or three out of four are going to land there. Doubled up on the jab a moment ago. And once again, there's the right hand lead with a double up. Not much on it, but at least he showed it. He's showing different looks to Sam Haynes, too. There's a good uh, counter right hand that time by Vlasov. And Sam Haynes just got rocked again as the knees buckled and he had to clinch. You know, Vlasov uh, looks like he's going into a switch, switch his stance from, from orthodox to southpaw once in a while. and. Sam doesn't know how to cope with it. You know, it's so interesting that we've been looking forward to watching uh, this Russian, and there is another one on the card as well that you, we will see here uh, a little later in the fight as Vlasov knocks him down again. Again, that is it. I believe they're going to stop the fight. They are, as Sam Haynes is cut across the uh, top of the eye. Has he stopped the fight? I thought the referee stopped the. Oh, he did. Oh, I thought he waved off the fight. Now is he going to count? Uh, they're going to uh, take a look at the cut. He does have a uh, severe uh, head cut, and they're going to call the doctor up right now to uh, examine the cut and see if uh, he can continue. It is uh, above the eyebrow. They will wait and uh, make the determination. So that some got, mixed that signals. Pretty good there. He did. Down. Some mixed signals that time by the uh, referee where it appeared that he was going to stop the bout, but he was actually trying to indicate that it was not a knockdown. And he will separate the fighters, and now uh, it will continue. As the doctor said, the uh, cut was not that serious. Now watch, watch for Vlasov to go after him right Well, now. he is right now. He is not, uh, not going to wait. He sees an opportunity, and now the uh, onslaught is on, and Haynes is doing his best to try to maintain but Vlasov is really trying to close in. And a solid right hand again by Vlasov. Again by Vlasov. That cut is getting worse. The referee is watching this closely and about to make a move as Vlasov tags him again and rocks him into the corner, and that's going to be it. That's it. And a nice ovation as Maxime Vlasov, impressive. And Sam Haynes is down. He is all right. Just uh, trying to catch his breath. And of course, disappointed that he got knocked out by Maxime Vlasov. Vlasov now taking his record to 9 0. And here we go. He's, he's got him in a clinch here. And Vlasov's going to just start teeing off on that cut right here. Trying to end it quick. Sam's going to throw a couple of couple of punches that, that really don't mean anything. Blasov still throwing punches, and well, the thing about Blasov is is that I mentioned the uh, fact is as he continues to land with that right hand is that he has patience. He understands the ability to take his man out. Now, see, he got hit right there, and he backed off, right. and then reset himself, and then mm -hmm. came right back in. And that is it right there, where, where the, the official is. steps in, referee Paul Field, and this time the fight is indeed stopped. That's a terrific overhand right. That was. You know, it's interesting that we uh, talk a little bit about uh, Russian fighters and the way that they have uh, controlled the heavyweight division. And I want to get into that just a little bit, all right? But let's go to the ring right now. And our announcer, it is Mike Williams. 
Ladies and gentlemen, in your second bout of the evening, the official time, two minutes, 32 seconds, into round number three, for the winner by knockout victory and still undefeated, Maxime Lesson. So a very impressive victory, a third round knockout. We talked a little bit about how Russian fighters have all of a sudden really come on, particularly in the heavyweight division. First the Klitschko brothers and then the other uh, fighters as well who are holding uh, titles. Uh, here's a guy that uh, maybe might be, even though he's not a heavyweight, might be following in that same tradition. Middleweight prospect right there. Uh, He's come to the States here looking looking for a, a paycheck and uh, you know he may have found a home here. Uh, the not only the Russians but the Europeans in general are, are really coming coming on in, in all divisions. All right. We're going to take a quick time out as we continue with the boxing here at the Northern Quest Casino in Airway Heights, Washington.